Hey guys, welcome back to Maxi's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making compound butter. I can't wait to teach you how to make it, so stay tuned. Here's a list of all the ingredients you need to make this. Now we're making our butter from scratch, but bear in mind that you can use um, already made butter from the supermarkets. This recipe honestly focuses on making good use of your leftover cream. So I always have leftover cream in my fridge and I don't like it when it goes to waste. So I always whip it up and make some butter when there's some left. Anyways, all you need to do is to pour your cream into a bowl and just whip it until it turns into butter that's all you have to do so you have to keep going this can take anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes to form depending on the temperature of the cream um, if you take it out of the fridge for some time before you actually whip it it would be faster so it would take less time to to form um, the butter but if it's cold it will take a longer time when your butter separates from the buttermilk you need to strain it so that's when you've gotten your butter from the cream so i put a layer of cheesecloth on a sieve and i put everything through so i put everything in the cheesecloth just to catch every bit of butter and the buttermilk is just going to fall into the bowl now make sure you don't throw the buttermilk away even though it's a byproduct there's there are so many things that you can use it for i have a lot of recipes on my page that use buttermilk for my red velvet cake to what to my um my coleslaw recipe guys my coleslaw recipe that i just uploaded you can use this buttermilk for that so um you can also rinse the butter in cold water to get every bit of buttermilk out but i didn't do that now i'm cutting my i just chopped my parsley now the thing about compound butter is that you can use any type of herb that you like um you can use dill and that would give you like uh, fish kind of like um, compound butter so that would work really well in dishes with fish and seafood and all of that you can use like cilantro and another in another one that would be good for like those Mexican dishes and things so yeah just play around with the herbs I also added some lemon um, zest for freshness and garlic garlic and um, chopped garlic um, salt, salt and black pepper just to season it so yeah If you are using pre-made butter from the store or a supermarket, just take it out of the fridge and let it soften up very well before you make your compound butter. And you need to soften it, up, soften it up so that it will be easy to mix all of your herbs, salt and pepper inside. So yeah. So we're going to store this in the fridge so that it hardens up a bit and then we can use it for our cooking. I prefer this parsley com and garlic combination because I feel like it's an all-purpose one. You can use it for potatoes, steak, you can even use it for garlic bread. Actually guys, I'll do that soon. So don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below if you actually want that recipe video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!